Alright guys, I have another little interesting video for you in this gorgeous windy weather. I'm going to try not to yell the whole time. Basically we have a smaller caliber versus a bigger caliber but the same energy. Uh, you know, one's a small bore, one is a big bore. So it's this is a pretty good test because you know it's the uh, tremendous difference you know between a 22 and a 30. You know, um, as you guys know, my Hotson shoots at 30 foot pounds, 29 at the muzzle, and my air arms I can dial, dial it down anywhere from between 10 and 35 foot pounds. So right now I have it set exactly 28 foot pounds like the Hotson. Uh, but you know the smaller caliber is traveling faster, has a flatter trajectory compared to the 30 cal that has more of a loop. And you know a lot of people when they opt for guns in the same power plant, they opt for their bigger caliber nowadays because they know it hits harder. But a lot of people don't still believe that. They don't see any benefit of getting a bigger caliber, heavier. Uh, they don't see the advantage of it. Of it and. I'm here to prove that it does matter, you know, the bigger caliber and the same energy is going to hit harder. Uh, it's proven, but it's just for people to see themselves. And if not, if it's, if it's all talk, we'll see. We'll find out right now with the crony and the, the objects we're going to be shooting at and see if there's a big difference. So yeah, let's get to this and hopefully it's, it's an eye opener for some. And for some that still uh, offer the bigger, even though it might not be better, we'll see. So I found a little interesting here that the 18 grain JSD shot faster at the muzzle compared to the polymag. It shot slower. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but for the hot sun, it's just the same. Same pellet weight, same velocity, basically. At 25 yards, the 30 cal uh, really outshines the 22. The 22 in JSB and Polymag looks really about the same FPS, but the JSB loses only 14 feet per second at 25 yards. Which is unbelievable. I would have never have known that unless I would have coned at that distance. The polymag loses about 60 feet per second, so it's you know it's not it's not as good as the JSB, uh, but it still hits pretty hard at 25 yards. All right, so the targets are set down at 15 yards. Uh, the reason is because uh, that's where I'm very comfortable shooting open sights. I've already tested both the Polymax and 22 and 30, but this is just side by side, uh, seeing what these uh, calibers do at these uh, these old pieces of uh, chicken breast, and have that bag of rice or just to catch any of the pellets that do go through the chicken. I'll just have to most likely dig them out and uh, and see how much uh, do they expand. If either the 22 expands more because it has more velocity or the 30 doesn't because it's going slow or if it doesn't matter just because they're both at about almost 30 feet uh 30 foot pounds so let's see sorry for the vertical recording here uh, i don't even know how i messed up here anyways uh, because the 30 cal, it didn't really expand, it just made a clean hole through the uh, chicken breast. Uh, even though it kind of shook it up, I think, a little more than the 22. The 22, I mean, that's the entrance, just look at that. It speaks for itself right there, and even though it didn't have as much meat in the back as, a, as the other one, it still did a pretty uh, big hole. So, definitely the 22 won that one. That rice, but here it is. The 22 expanded as expected, it basically deformed a little mushroom, but the 30 didn't. It's just 
pretty much kept its shape. I think that's why we didn't really see uh, much of the chicken being destroyed there. So it means it's good for penetration, just not a uh, not not a lot of expansion. You know, you need velocity. You you need that velocity for for expansion. I wasn't trying to do a lot of voiceovers, but I couldn't help it. The, the weather wasn't complying with me, so I didn't have a choice. So we're gonna shoot the JSBs at uh, first four bottles, and hopefully the one of them can get through all four and get to the last big one at the end, and we'll see. Alright, my camera dies, so I'm just gonna use my phone. So, this is gonna be a true penetration test as the bottom one was more of an energy transfer and didn't really get much of penetration there, so it was pretty much the same. So, it's a pretty big, sturdy piece of wood here. See if any will penetrate, but I'm gonna show one here and there 22 and then 30. And it says once and for all, see which one penetrates more the smaller, faster pellet or the bigger and slower. Let's see. went through the dirty almost so the clear winner for penetration goes to the 22 all right I'm just waiting for this wind to die down there we go all right so the 22 penetrates more it uh, expands more with hollow points so you get that energy transfer a bit more because of that only hollow points uh, bigger caliber penetrates less but it hits harder you guys saw in all the shooting clips that the 30 cal just shakes everything up more so the big advantage the bigger caliber at the same power plant has is it retains the energy way more because of its heavier um, BC ballistic coefficient and it's it's bigger weight you know and, um, so that's the only advantage the bigger caliber has and when you're shooting down range, that's gonna matter. The main advantage that the smaller caliber has is just the flatter trajectory. Um, you know who cares about that that penetration when when it's not gonna retain it for the, for that long. You know the bigger caliber is gonna win right there. But that doesn't mean the 22 loses. It's still it's still uh, you know it's it performs equal basically. So. When it comes down to which is better, I can't say. You guys decide for that and tell me what you guys think. But to me, I'm always going to offer the, for the bigger caliber at the same power plant.